fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. of the first transcontinental railroad was one of the greatest steps toward the winning of the West. The railroad was of prime importance to the future of the country, but powerful forces, cattlemen, stagecoach lines, and steamship companies opposed it. Outlaw opposition sprang up, and the Lone Ranger was commissioned by the president to lead the fight against the enemies of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We've got to find Toto. I'm Silver. Boy. The Lone Ranger rode north following the Missouri toward Omaha. Behind him lay Cass and Oto counties and further back the city of St. Joseph. He had traveled far since dawn, hoping to reach the end of his trip by sunset. Ahead of him, he could see the woods where Tonto should be waiting. And then he saw a girl on horseback, a slender girl who broke from the shelter of the trees and raced toward him with a speed that spoke of desperation. Silver, that looks like Joan Barkley. Come on, boy! It was Joan Barkley, the girl who had aided the masked man many times, the girl from Washington who had been stationed in Omaha by the president. Wait! Rain up! I've got to speak to you! Whoa, Silver, steady, Silver. Whoa, boy, whoa. Why are you on this side of the woods? Why aren't you in Omaha? Wait. Oh, I've done something terrible. I've probably ruined all your plans. What's happened? You and Tonto captured Colonel Parkman and Henry Wilson. Yes? Oh, I wasn't sure. I couldn't believe that it was really you and Tonto who'd done it. Colonel Parkman is on the riverboat. We captured the men who were going to blow it up and destroy the blasting powder for the railroad. But tell me, what of Henry Wilson? You mean the man who called himself Henry Wilson? The, the man you left in the cabin. The man who Tonto was guarding. What about him? Well, he's an imposter. He isn't Henry Wilson. I, uh, I don't know who he is. Oh, oh dear. Why? You wanted that man held prisoner? Of course I did. Well, I, I released him. You mean he's free? Yes. But what about Tonto? Well, Tonto told me that you wanted him held after Wilson had gone. Oh, what a fool I was. I truly thought he was Henry Wilson. I thought someone else had captured him. As soon as it was morning, after that capture, I followed a trail. I found that cabin in the woods. Go on, Miss Barkley. Well, this, this man was there, tied and gagged. I released him. He took my horse and disappeared into the woods. And then Tonto returned to the cabin. He'd been after food. Oh, so Tonto told you. Yes. He told me that you thought Wilson was an imposter. He told me that you were the one who'd captured him. By that time, Wilson was gone. That must have been several days ago. Oh, it was. I got another horse from a neighboring ranch, and I've waited on this side of the woods. Waited to catch you before you went into them, so you wouldn't be ambushed by that man. Oh, where's Tonto now? Oh, he's still searching for him. I see. But how did you know he wasn't really Henry Wilson? Because he told Colonel Parkman to have the man called Lefty arrested. He said Lefty was going to destroy the riverboat. And Lefty... I was... knew Lefty. Knew he was a government agent. Wilson simply wanted the colonel to have Lefty removed from the boat so the real crooks could destroy it without interference. Those crooks are in jail by this time. Oh, thank goodness for that. One thing has been proved. The real Henry Wilson didn't steal the money and the records from his Washington office. This other man did it. He's using those records and letters to fight every effort to build the railroad. We oh, must be found. You must get back to the city. 
And go close to the river and follow it north. Then you won't have to go through the woods. And you? I'm going to find Tonto. He'll leave a blaze trail from the cabin so I can reach him. But Henry, well, I mean, the imposter is somewhere in the woods. I'll be on guard. He knows you're aware, aware of what he's doing. He'll kill you if you can. Oh, be careful, Lone Ranger. In the name of goodness, be careful. If, if something happens to you, I... Well, I don't know who would fight this gang. Every honest ranch in the West will fight it. But they won't. They're opposed to the railroad, and so is the stage line. And the ranchers and the operators of the stage line were opposed as long as they could fight fairly. But remember, they're Americans. They want things done legally. Congress voted for the railroad against the objections. The men of the West have accepted their defeat. And Wilson, that is the imposter, and his gang aren't backed by the honest men... They're fighting the railroad for their own selfish purpose. We don't even know what their purpose is. No, but we're going to find out. Now, please, hurry to Omaha. I want to join Tonto before dark. Adios. Come on, Silver. The Lone Ranger traveled on after leaving Miss Barkley. Silver's flashing legs sped the miles behind them as the sun set in the west and the shadows grew longer and finally disappeared. After the sun had set, they came to a thick woods bordering the river. In the gloom, the ranger's sharp eyes caught a white blaze on a tree trunk. A slight pressure of the lone ranger's knee and the white stallion turned away from the river, traveling swiftly but surely through the heavy underbrush. A little later, he saw a gleam flickering ahead. It was Tonto, his friend and faithful companion. But Tonto, you built a fire here. Mm, that right. He built fire so you find camp after dark. The Wilson might have seen it. He could have sneaked up and ambushed you. No, him not see it. Him go west from woods. Tonto follow trail. Oh? Him ride trail west from here. Now you're back, we follow him. Kimo Sabi, it might be a good thing that he escaped. Huh? Maybe he'll lead us to more of his gang. Maybe we can find out what happened to the real Henry Wilson. You, lo- you ride long way. You plenty tired. Silver needs rest before we go on. We'll stay here till daybreak. Then we'll see why Henry Wilson headed west. Several miles west of Omaha stood a lonesome cabin set in the midst of a clump of cottonwoods. Inside the cabin was the man who called himself Henry Wilson. In the light of a kerosene lamp on the table before him, his face was cruel, with eyes as bleak and dangerous as a wolf. Seated around the table with him were several other men with hard faces. Gun belts were strapped around their waists as they listened to Wilson intently. It's the Lone Ranger. He's the one who's interfering. I know for a fact that he's already spoiled our plan to destroy the blasting powder. Hey, what are we going to do? Let him get away with it? Yeah. Not for very long. The sooner we're rid of him, the better I'll like it. Then keep still, Bat, and let me talk. Well, sure. We'll fix him when the time comes. Now, I couldn't help leaving a trail to this cabin. He'll find it and follow it. Then we can lay in wait and drill him when he comes. We don't know how soon he'll be here. We'd only waste our time when there's important things to be done. No, we won't wait for him at all. We'll just keep a few jumps ahead of him. We'll keep on the move so fast he'll never catch up with us. Move fast doing what? Just what the big boss wants done. Interfere with the railroad work. How? Well, boys, you know the information we've got. We got all the papers from the office of the real Henry Wilson. Yeah? Maps and letters. Tales of the road building and facts about the ranches in this part of the country. We'll make good use of that information. And we'll start with a gang of graders working under Jim Blake... The men that are clearing off the land for the railroad tracks? Yes. And if the Lone Ranger does catch up with us, <laughs> I've got my story all fixed. I'll see to it that Blake is dead sure that the Lone Ranger's his worst enemy. Ooh, what are we going to do? <laughs> Blake's men have to eat. Well, sure. Well, they've got a few head of beef on the range near camp. We start out with that. How? I'll show you when the time comes. Remember, there's a lot of ranches around here that are mighty sore at the railroad. They'd sooner see the labor and gang starve than sell them food. Well, you watch what I do. Now get going. We're riding out. The next day, the Lone Ranger and Tonto struck out west from Omaha. They had no trouble picking up the trail. Wilson had made certain that it wouldn't be missed. But the masked men and Tonto had no idea that the trail had been deliberately left for them to follow. They sighted the clump of cottonwoods in the cabin which Wilson and his cronies had left the night before. There are the tracks, Tonto. That's right. Now, Wilson came here alone. He left with half a dozen men. Ah. We look in cabin. Make sure no one there now. We'll look. 
I think we'll find the place deserted. The cabin was deserted. It took but a few minutes to confirm that fact. Then the masked man and Tonto were in the saddle once more. Hold, Silver! Get him up, Scout! The trail was an easy one to follow. It led west and slightly to the north. The destination was obvious. They're heading for the construction camp, Tonto. Uh, Jim Blake is in charge of the grading crew there. You know him? No, but I know he's on the level. The colonel spoke well of him. Two hours after dark, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached the camp. Most of the tents were dark, their occupants asleep. Only a few were still lighted. Slowly, the masked men and Tonto walked their horses through the camp. In his tent, where Blake sat beneath an oil lamp, studying, drawing, and specifications at a small desk set on the ground, he heard the sound of hoofs stopping. His eyes narrowed. One hand closed on the butt of a six-gun lying on the desk. He turned toward the flap of the tent, and then... Oh, wait a minute, Blake. I'm here as a friend. Well, who are you? I've been working with Colonel Parkman in Omaha. I'm uh, looking for Henry Wilson. You, you're working for the Colonel? Yes. Hold on. You're the Lone Ranger. Yes. Well, come in and sit down. By thunder, I didn't hope to see you. I'd heard that you were with us. Uh, sit down there on the bunk. You've been traveling hard. I have, and I hope this is the end of the trail. Uh, where's Henry Wilson? Henry Wilson? Well, that's a fellow in Washington who tried to block the railroad. He disappeared. Yes. Well, how do I know where he is? Not the real Henry Wilson. I'm speaking of a man I trailed from Omaha to this camp. He's an imposter. I haven't seen him. He uh, had about six men with him. Oh, there were some men here around noon. Seven of them. But I didn't hear the name Wilson. Where are they now? Uh, they rode north. How long ago? Oh, half an hour after they came. They left a little past noon. I've got to find those men. Blake, why did they come here? Well, they sold me some cattle, beef or food. Where did they get the cattle? They haven't delivered it yet. I don't... Say, you won't have to follow them. They'll be back here. Uh, they will be? Yes. They're coming back tomorrow, the day after, with 20 steers. Did, uh, did you give them the money? No, I told them I'd pay on delivery. They said they'd been sent to sell me beef. There was no reason to suspect anything wrong about them. You sure they're the ones you're after? I'm sure enough, Blake. Well, they'll be back here. Now, all you have to do is wait for them. I'll fix you up with a place to sleep. No, don't bother. But you need rest. Tonto and I will make our own camp. Well, suit yourself, but I'd be honored. We'll ride north a little way. I don't want Wilson, or whatever his name is, to get word that we're here. He probably wouldn't come back. We won't be far away, Blake. Well, that's a shot. Trouble. You come. Hello, where was that shot? It's not far. Come on. Which way, Indian? Yonder. That way. Steady, big fella. Come on, Blake. Right on Silver with me. My own horse is over. There are others shoot. You see them? Yes. Give me your hand, Blake. Save time. Right. Up you come. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. I saw that gun flash. It's right over there. Come on, you fellas. There's trouble. He's near the cattle. There's the boss right away. Oh, Silver. Steady, Silver. Steady, Wilbur. Whoa. Oh, oh. You blazing, blind shooting fool. What's the idea? Yeah, keep back, Mr. Blake. Keep back. I tell you, me and Pete will have to rope you. Thanks. It's all right. We know what we're doing. There's another one. Put down your rifle. Hey, we gotta shoot the longhorn. There's another one down. Hey, poor critter. Hey, you drill him, Pete. I gotta reload. What's happened to those steers? They're acting as if they'd been poisoned. That's just what happened. Good shooting, Pete. You got that one the first time. Hank, you say the cattle's been poisoned. How did it happen? The only way it could have happened was for someone to poison a water hole, Mr. Blake. We're shooting them to put them out of their misery. A poison water hole. Henry Wilson. I wonder if that he... That beef can't be eaten. No, of course it can. And if your men aren't well fed, you'll have trouble. Come on, Toto. We're going to try to find Wilson. But he said he'd come back. I just hope he does. We won't take a chance on that. We'll go after him. Come on, Silver! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger knew that Henry Wilson was an imposter. He was sure that this man, who had already proved his desire to interfere with the building of the railroad, had poisoned the beef in a construction camp. He knew that the man would never stop there, that he would keep on interfering and striking at the railroad whenever he got the chance. That was why the masked man did not wait for Wilson to return, why he and Tonto struck out at once on the trail. Side by side, the masked man and the Indian urged their horses forward, swinging north, the land growing more rocky and irregular with each thud of the horse's pounding hoofs. We can't make good time following the trail by moonlight, Tonto. We'll gain something on those men. Uh, they had a big start on us. We'll never overtake them if we don't keep moving. That's right. You think Wilson Teller poison water hole? Yes, I'm sure of it. We couldn't find a better way to make the laborers more discontented. Men who are hungry are poor workers. Uh, that's right. Why did he promise to return with 20 head of beef? Uh, me not know. That's what I can't understand. He wanted to stop in the camp just long enough to throw poison into the water hole. Yeah, they could have done it without selling longhorns to Blake. You wait. Oh, Scout. Oh, oh there's Silver. Oh, oh, oh. What is it, Kimosabe? You wait. You hear noise. He put ear close to ground. Listen careful. What sort of a noise, Tato? Sound like plenty hook beak. Me listen. Uh, me hear it. Cattle? Not right. Cattle nearby. I hear it now. Uh, they come this way. They're coming fast. Here, let's get back to these rocks. I don't want to answer a lot of questions. Come on, Silver. This way, boy. <laughs> Quickly, they guided Silver and Scout behind an outcrop of rock, then turned and watched the trail ahead. In the gloom, the thunder of hoofs grew steadily closer and louder. Their ears caught the deep sound of cattle before the longhorn surged into view around a bend in the trail. Steady, Silver. There come cattle. You see them? Yes. Fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty head. Ah. I wonder if Wilson is really taking beef to the camp. Plenty quick, we see who drive cattle. Scout class. Come well back to the rock. The moon's too bright. Yeah. You look. You see fellow on west side of cattle. Him look like Henry Wilson. It is Wilson. Hello, we're going to find out what scheme he has in mind. Next morning, Blake was still in his tent at daybreak when Hank came in with Henry Wilson. Hank already had accused the man called Wilson of poisoning the water hole. Wilson claimed to know nothing about it. You can go, Hank. Put the cattle on the range away from the poison water. I'll deal with this man. You're all right, boys. Blake, you can't accuse me of putting poison in the water hole. Well, it was all right before you came here. Why would I do such a thing? I don't know, but You I... bought cattle from me or agreed to buy it before your own stock was sick. I didn't have to pull a trick of that sort to sell you the beef. There's bad water all over the West. But that doesn't mean that someone put the poison in no, it. Oh, but we have... All right, all right. To make you feel any better about it, I'll cut the price on the stock we delivered this morning to make up for what you lost. There's another thing. You call yourself Henry Wilson. Who says so? The Lone Ranger. You were in Omaha. The Lone Ranger? Yes, he was here yesterday. He wants to have a talk with you. How do you know he's telling the truth? What? Why don't you suspect him of poisoning the water? The Lone Ranger? Poisoning drinking water? Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. What's more, I'm not Henry Wilson. Where is this man that claims he's the Lone Ranger? He'll be back, and you'll stay till he gets here. You bet I will. We'll have a showdown. He's probably working for some of the cattlemen around here. There's plenty of them would like to make trouble for you. Maybe he's the one that poisoned the water. Then he tried to put me in a bad light so you wouldn't deal with me. Then where would you be? You wouldn't have meat for your men. Oh, I hadn't thought of it that way. You'd better think of it that way, Blake. Then uh, you're not Henry Wilson? Why, of course not. That mass man's a schemer, not me. Well, I'll reserve my opinion until he turns up. I'll have that poison water hole fence so the stock you brought in won't get near it. How long before that mass man gets here? I don't think you'll have long to wait. Where are your men? I sent them on their way as soon as we put the longhorns on the range. I'll join them after I deal with this, this mass critter, if he comes back. I guess he'll be back all hey, right boss, enough. Boss. Hank, what's the matter? Big come fast trouble. What? Hey, Rich, it's boiling mad in us. They're here. Where is he? Where's Blake? Hold on there. Which of you is Jim Blake? That's my name. I'm Ben Burton. I'm here with my boys to collect the cattle that was stolen. The cooks have stolen it. I'll get your hands Put in. Put down that gun. What's the idea of busting in my tent and Come on here, it? boys. We got the head man. Now we should string him up. Let me rope the trail. We'll show these railroad men. Now, hold on. Get out of this tent. All of you, get out. Hey, boss, they claim we got their critters in the range. You can cover it, boys. Now, you right, well. you lost cattle with poison water. Yes. And you needed beef. You knew there wasn't a rancher nearby that sent it to you, so you snuck up to my place and stole it during the night. I didn't do anything of the sort. And you men did the same thing. We're taking you and the cattle back with us. We'll make an example of you. You? You stole the cattle? Me? Now, Mr. Blake, you can't pass the blame on to me. Oh, why, you... I'm downright you... sorry for you, Blake. 
He should have known that you'd be heard taking the cattle and that good cow hands could follow the trail straight to your camp. That's all I need. Rope that one, boys. Oh, hey, you leave my boss alone. Rope that old galoot, too. Keep watching the workers so they don't start gunplay. I'm just a stranger around here, Buck. Stand back. You put no ropes on me. Barton, I tell you, this man did it. He had six men with him. You shouldn't say things like that, Blake. Because Mr. Barton will just ask you to point out the six men that were with me. And when you can't do it, it'll prove you're lying. Why, you... you... Let go of me. Let me at that smooth-talking crook. Oh, you struggling, Blake. Of all the mangy tricks. He out. did have six men. He left the Longhorns on the range and his men rode on. Blake, you can't talk your way out of it. If I had six men, they rode away from here. There'd be tracks, wouldn't they? Stop trying to blame it on me. There'd be tracks like we saw all the way from my ranch. Lone Ranger was right. Why, you double-dealing, scheming crook. He told me what you were. And for a minute, you had me doubting him. Barton, the Lone Ranger can tell you what kind of a crook this man is. A lone Ranger? Yes, he'll be back here. If you'll only wait. Wait till your men get the chance to jump, my boys, huh? They'll jump. They'll jump plenty when they see you trying to take me and Mr. Blake away from here with ropes on us. They'll be the toughest scrap you was ever in. You just try moving us in this tent. See what happens. Hank's right. We'll take a chance. Be ready, boys. We're bringing two of them out. We're all ready. Mr. Barton, if you're uh, going to have a trial, uh, I'll be glad to give my testimony. You might need it if the Lone Ranger's on the side of the railroad. Yeah. He's choosing sides against the ranch, he's a... Shooting gunplay! Hey, Barton, it's a cattle. It's being moved. Hey, Captain, yeah. let me see. Jeff and Red, stay here. Go at these three. Keep them all here. Look out the cattle. Those two riders are driving them away. we got to get after it. Get after them! Get after them, boys! Barton saw two horsemen driving several of his longhorns toward the east. Infuriated at the boldness, he urged his call hands forward. Get after him! We'll run him down! A couple more of the railroad men! We'll show him! Lone Ranger and Tonto knew that the ranchers who pursued them were well mounted. They couldn't hope to drive the longhorns and maintain their lead. Never mind the cattle, Tonto. We'll leave it behind us. Uh... Get him up! One silver! The pace increased. Barton and his men dashed past the cattle. Get after him! I want those men. We'll pick up the cattle later on. Close in! Get after that white horse! Riders swarmed after the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Spurs digging into their horses, they raced to catch the stallion in the paint. They fanned out, firing their six guns in the dead run. The masked man and his companion made no effort to outdistance the pursuit. They maintained their lead easily, the horses running lightly on the hard-packed ground that had been prepared by the graders for the laying of tracks. Bullets whipped past them, but the Lone Ranger knew that the pace was too fast and the distance still too great for accurate shooting. Then so suddenly that Barton and his men could hardly realize what had happened, the masked man signaled to Tonto. Their knees touched the horse's ribs. Silver and Scout dug in their heels. Barton shouted in amazement as he saw them come to a halt. Hey, Freed up! Come on, we get him now! They've got their hands up! Hey, one of them's an The other's mask! Mask and the white horse! Keep guns ready, boys! Oh, 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 oh. Keep your hands up! We'll make a move for you, guns. I don't intend to, Barton. Who are you? You the lone ranger? If you are, why'd you side for the railroad? Why'd you steal our cattle? Wait a minute. One thing at a time. Hey, what are you uh, people who want to start a war between you and the railroad workers. Yeah, that war's already started. And it won't end till we put a few people in their place. I borrowed some of your longhorns to make sure you'd come after me. What? I wanted you here. Right where you are, beside those big rocks near the right-of-way. Why? So you'd find the men who really stole your cattle last night. Men who take their orders from an imposter who calls himself Henry Wilson. Well, uh, hold on. What do you mean, the men who really stole my cattle? Who do you think stole it? Well, Blake and his railroad workers. No. Then who? The man you saw with Jim Blake. He and his men took the cattle and ran it to the camp. And the rustlers traveled east along the hard-packed ground of the railroad where the hoof marks wouldn't show. You mean that... Yes. I... Look behind those rocks. He's right, Barton. There's six of them there. All hold tight as neat as you please. Uh, for... All right. What are you going to do about it? There are your rustlers. If you doubt it, match the tracks of those horses over there with the tracks you followed from your ranch. What you got to say about this? Nothing. What do you know about Henry Wilson? Speak up, you crook. I got nothing to say. Wilson planned to join them here as soon as he slipped away from Jim Blake's camp. You can prove what I've said by waiting here. 
Martin, it was these men who poisoned the water hole to make the frame up more convincing. But how did you know? Hunt and I saw these men driving the cattle during the night. We followed to see what they'd do. We trailed them when they came here from the camp. Managed to get the drop on them and rope them. We dreaded you again, is Against you? You said with the railroad. I'm for the railroad because it's the best thing for the West and the people in the West. Think what it will mean, Barton, to have a railroad to take your cattle to the markets. A railroad to bring you things in the eastern cities. Yes, we dread it. All people will come here and take up land and start busting the rangeland up. Hey, you listen to me, Barton. I'll tell you what the railroad really means. Shut up, I'll do the talking. Boys, take him ropes off Blake and his friend. Oh, me? Yes. What's the matter? You, you mangy coyote. Oh, why, what the... Here's something to start with. Oh. Uh, I'll rope him. We'll take him to jail with his six partners. They're being watched by the boys a couple of miles east. Great day. You found the others? No ranger found them. They show me what a doggone fool I've been. Blake, you need beef. Well, you got it, Keep what Wilson brought here and pay me whatever it's worth to you. If you need more, let me know. You mean, you, you mean you're on our side now? Can I see what underhanded double dealing conniving is done by the critters that are working again the railroad? I couldn't be on the same side and keep my head up. Anyhow, I got told why the railroad is good for the West. Job gone. <laughs> someone sure must have given you a talking to. Someone did. And that someone is known as the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 